This came in the mail today. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, show us. I'm not. I'm not going to show you. Actually, I am. Check it out. Look what came in the mail today. Bam. You ready for the unboxing, buddy? Ready for me to rip this bad boy open? Still got the plastic on it and everything. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing, man. You ready? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is up, guys? I've seen everybody opening their Xbox ROG LIX and trying to throw in a new hard drive in there. I'm going to show you how I do it on this channel, how I did it. Um, remember, this is educational purposes only. I'm not liable for any issues you have. We're gonna go ahead and throw a four terabyte hard drive in that bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and throw this guy in there. And we're just gonna make it happen. That's just what has to happen right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So first things first, you're gonna need a screwdriver with, I have an iFix, I have a kit here. Uh, it's the fix kit. I'm gonna use that bit right there, that's a zero, and the screwdriver. We're also gonna need one of these things here. So we can pop out the clips on the side there. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything we need out of the, out of the pack, out of the case, and we're just gonna go, go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna show you first things first, we need these two pieces. This is a zero bit uh, Phillips screwdriver, and we're gonna need this. And first things first, you're gonna have to either get a case or something you can lay it in. I fortunately have this case. So we're just gonna flip it around and lay it face down in the case. Now what you have to remember is you cannot be pressing that power button. That power button is bad news. Don't press that power button. So you have three screws at the bottom. One, two, three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab those three screws first because they're the easiest to get to. We're just gonna unscrew it, pull them out, set them to the side. As you can see, I'm putting them there. Here goes the next one, set it to the side. Here's the next one, set it to the side. So these are gonna be the easiest screws you get to so far. The other ones are gonna be a little more difficult. Uh, I recommend you put it in the case because the case has those holes for your joysticks and it'll protect your, your face plate, your, your, plastic, your glass on the top. Then we're going to get the next four screws. One, two, three, four. Those four screws right there. We're going to take those out next. I'm going to just grab them all. Some of them won't come out easy. Not even if it's magnetized. If your screwdriver is magnetized, it's, they're still not going to come out easy. Some of them will come out easy. Just remember where you put your screws and what order you got to put them back in. So the two bottom ones, I think, come out very easy. So I'm going to put these at the bottom. And then I'm going to put these three below it. So that way I remember the order that they go in. So it goes like this. And then we're going to take this top one out here. This one's going to be a little more difficult to grab as far as pulling it out. Even if it's magnetized, it won't grab it. Then we're gonna go ahead and get that last screw right there, the number fourth, I mean number fifth. So the fifth of the long screws. This one, this fifth one here in the middle is gonna be captive. So you can't really, you can't really take it out. You can twist and twist and twist and it's just not gonna come out. So just be wary of that. Now, as you're going in, I would recommend you go from the side, do not push that power button. So keep your hands in the middle of the device. Down here, you're gonna pop this in here. You're gonna push down on the back of the console as you pop those clips. So those clips can easily pop out. Don't push too hard. What you need to do is make sure you just pop those clips so you can get around them. Just push in and twist if you need to. This one's a little harder to get to. So just go ahead and put it in there. Just make sure you pop them. And then you're gonna start down here. You're gonna to push towards the bottom of the machine lightly. You're gonna make sure those, those clips pop out of the way. You don't wanna break them. This one also, same thing. You're gonna push the clip in. You're gonna to push toward the bottom of the machine and just round that one out. Then you're gonna come over to this side, keeping your hands on 12 and six of the console. You're gonna, well, you gotta keep the console upside down. You gotta go in through here. And the best part is 
you're going to push down towards the back of the console. So you put your clip, your clip freer in there, push down towards the back of the console. It's going to pop those clips out effortlessly, and it's not going to feel like you went ahead and broke your hand or, or broke the clips. Make sure you get that bottom one there. That one's kind of a pain in the butt. So just make sure you get that bottom clip and pop that bottom clip out. That's the important one. If it's dirty, it's because I've been playing on it. I didn't know, I didn't really have an idea to make this video until I saw people on Reddit having issues with their device. So I decided to make my own video, try to give you guys a little heads up on what's happening with your device or how to upgrade your device, sorry. Um, once people started asking questions about upgrading their device, then I started giving them, then I started looking into it, making a video of it. So this last one, sometimes will get lodged in there. All you gotta do is go in and unscrew it even more. Now be careful with this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable is kind of a POS. So you're gonna have to find a way to lay it down without destroying that ribbon cable. So there's ways of doing it. You just gotta figure it out. And to upgrade the hard drive, as you can see, I got a four terabyte in there. I already put that one in there and uh, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna switch it back out. So first things first, if you wanna undo the ribbon cable, that's up to you. That's your call. Wow, the battery's stuck in there. Well, we'll just go around the battery too then. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this screw out. This is my hard drive screw. I'm gonna put it right there so I know where it's at. Bend this wire out of the way. Hard drive lift up, slide out, boom, done. Put that there. This is the hard drive it comes with. It comes like this with that little black thing on top of it, the little shield, and then the Samsung logo. We're gonna go ahead and drop that bad boy in there gonna, without breaking it. Throw it in sideways here. Go ahead and uh, just get it in there. Boom, boom. Drop it down. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. Get our screw. Fasten it down. Down. Once it's down, not, not too tight. You just gotta get it good and tight. We're gonna move that wire back over. I'm gonna try to clean this a little bit. It's a good idea to keep everything clean. We never did anything to that ribbon cable, unfortunately. So we're just gonna put it all back together. I'm gonna pop the clips in, and we're gonna pop the screws in. So here's the screws that were starting to come out. Might be able to grab them now. Maybe not. We'll see if this way. Push it through. Grab it with the finger now. Boom. That's the top one. Push it through. Grab it with the finger now. That's the top one. If you can see that one's captive, you can see that right there. That's a captive screw. It's not going to come out. So I like to start off at the bottom when I put it back together. I do want to check my clips. If you ever want to check your clips, just just do a run around. Check out the clips. Make sure none of them are broken. All of them should look nice and neat. They all should fit pretty seamlessly. I would check the sides, make sure nothing's pushing on it. Make sure you don't have any gunk in there. So I know you've been playing the LIX. Actually, if you look here, you can see that the joysticks are right here. So they're easily accessible. You can change them out. So if you ever get some Hall effects, you can throw some Hall effects in there pretty simply. Here's your joystick. Here's your other joystick. That's cool. I didn't know Ally. I didn't know they made it different. The other Ally had all kinds of stuff over it this time. It looks like they're open. It does look like that's your modulator for the triggers. Is that Wi-Fi adapter? Maybe I don't know. It looks like Rumble. That's Rumble. That's the rumble. Those are both rumbles. Where's the Wi-Fi adapter? I don't see the Wi-Fi. It's probably underneath the, the big boy here. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. The internals are pretty dope. So we're gonna pop the case back in. I'm gonna listen to it pop and go. Make sure you pop it all the way across. Make sure you get every single clip in before you try to screw it back in because you're gonna be screwed if you do it wrong. And one of the clips is not all the way in. And you try to screw it in. And we're gonna screw. We're gonna screw it in reverse order that we took it apart. So we're gonna take this one first. Pop this one in top. Yep. And it's good and tight. You don't have to get it crazy, crazy tight. These are my two top ones. We're gonna go ahead and throw these bad boys in there first. So one here, one there. Put this in the way so you can see it. Get this screw in. You can hear the thumbstick pushing down a little bit. It's kind of cool. And we're gonna get this one too here. Pop that bad boy back in. Make sure it fits in there flawlessly. Screw it back in. We're gonna go with how it's tight and just a, not even a quarter turn, not even like an eighth of a turn more. What you need is like an eighth of a turn once they're tight. You don't wanna strip the, strip the screws and then you're screwed out of changing out the hard drive later. If there's a bigger one that comes out, eight terabyte, you ever decide to go and change the Joy-Cons or the joysticks to Hall Effect, try to change any of the buttons, you're screwed. It looked like everything was like independently interchangeable. So it's kind of like a PC, really. You can change your pieces independently, which is pretty dope. I would definitely take advantage of that in the future when they make those Hall Effect Joy-Cons or joysticks. That'd be pretty dope. I would enjoy that. All right, you got the three screws at the bottom in. Boom. Now before you turn it back on, you have to do one thing. You have to do one, you have to sit it. No, we're not gonna sit it up on the stand. We're gonna throw it in the case. But you have to do one thing before you turn it on. And what's that one thing? You have to plug it in. So it goes into the second, second one over. See my battery light turned on? Now you can turn it on. If you tried it without the battery light, it's not gonna turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Boom, and you just changed the hard drive. Thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Catch you in the next one.